How aware of you were you of Tom Bradley's career before you came on this spring as, as defensive coordinator? I had definitely heard of him, you know, just with Penn State and like the work he had done over there. And, I mean, I wasn't like I knew everything about him, but I, the name rang bells, you know, when I first heard it. And I was excited, and then when I looked more into it, I was like, okay pretty interesting so I'm excited to have him on board for sure. The, the lineage of linebackers he's worked with is pretty impressive isn't it? It's definitely impressive you know uh, just the first rounders and just the people he's put out in general just underneath him I mean it's, it's impressive and I'm excited to you know hopefully be one of those types of people that, that come out under his name you know um, he brings wisdom you know to our, to our program and just the way he talks and the way he talks about just I mean just the way he carries himself you know like you just you just have to show respect and you know um, I'm happy to have him, you know, uh, I think it's a cool, um, say, replacement for Coach Brick who's moved on to the NFL, so I think I think it's a good, I think it's a good hire by Coach Moore, for sure. Guys, Dion's got an early class, so whoever needs him, uh, let's just kind of break it up. We got Nate, him, and so just get who you guys want. Okay. That was an uh, awkward skip. <laughs> get, get Dion while you can, how about that? Or not. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Um, how does how does Coach Bradley, how is he different from Coach Brick in the way that he works with you guys? Um, it's just two different styles. I mean, not that one's better than the other or anything like that. I mean, it's just two different styles, you know. Uh, Coach Bradley, uh, he's definitely older than Coach Brick, so I mean, he's, he uses his words a little bit less. I mean, Coach Brick's a very energetic person, you know. Uh, he brings energy to the table, whereas opposed Coach Bradley's kind of laid back. You know? um, like I said, wisdom, you know, kind of like... Yeah, like like a Yoda figure kind of just sitting back and doesn't really use his words too much but when he does it means something you know not to say that Coach Brick didn't or anything like that it's just two different styles of people you know so um, I think he's a great great pick for us so I'm excited you've had some fun one-on-one -on -one matchups with Mossy yeah. the last couple of days yeah uh, he got the best of me today but that's all right though you know uh, you win some and you lose some but we put the pads on Saturday so I'm excited for that. But yeah, Moss is a hell of a player. I mean, I've been doing one-on-ones with him since he got on campus. I mean, we did one-on-ones in the off-season. Uh, I mean, that's pretty much the guy I go with to get ready for the game. So I mean, and, and he gives me hell every time we go up against each other. I mean, whether I'm playing off or press, I mean, it's, I got to bring my A game. You know, and we're going back, John, back and forth. And it gets personal sometimes, but at the end of the day, I mean, we're, we're homies and everything. We're cool, but I mean, it's definitely competitive. I think we're the most competitive tandem going to one-on-ones compared to everybody else because we really mean it when we go against each other so yeah I got some for him on Saturday though it's all right he he definitely got me today but I, I'll take that you're doing a little more work in the middle this spring what do you think of that do you like the fit I like it you know it's cool for me I get to be in space and just run and hit which is you know kind of what people say is the my my better quality so I mean, the coaches felt like it was the best fit. I talked to Coach Moore about it before the season, Coach White, Coach Bradley, and they all, we all came to the conclusion that that was the best spot for me. And uh, I'm, I'm going to go with it, you know. Uh, I'm going to just watch a lot of Eric Kendrick's film and just, just try and learn what I can and just become the best player I can be. Who suggested the move first? Um, it was brought up by, I want to say, it was either Coach White or Coach Moore. Like, they kind of brought it up around the same time. Like, they just kind of threw it out there. I was like, all right, you know, like I told him I don't care. You know, I just want to play. Like, as many positions I play here, like it doesn't matter. I'll switch another position, so it's whatever. But yeah, I, I I don't care. You know, as long as I'm on the field, just helping my team win, it's just I, I really don't care. You know, I can make it work. I can learn a new spot. I'm doing that right now. And I'm excited. What would your goal in the off season? To Take the next step in your play. I think my goal is really more of a mental approach, you know, uh, spending time kind of really learning things, you know. Um, I don't want to say like I'm already there athletically or anything, but I felt like, you know, as a younger guy, like kind of getting here and finding success so early, not too much was expected of me knowing, you know, what I was supposed to do. Like when I played as a freshman, like they really just let me focus on me and just kind of, it was just kind of like Miles go play. And now that I'm older, like I have to take that role as knowing what other people are doing and knowing the defense and speaking up and being vocal and just, you know, taking it to a whole nother level where if you put me on that board, I know what everybody's doing. And that's kind of where I'm still working. Like it's, it's new for me, you know, and everything. And I'm going to get better at it. But I just stay in Coach White's office and just learn different things every day.